This is McCook's Mr. Bills, an honor to have you here. Just playing with my ultralight reel and rod here in the living room. You bet, I am the lord of my house and living room. That means I get to play with my reel and rod anytime I want inside my home. Well, at least if the wife's gone. Be that as it may, you're here for a story. You're here for a story. And the story is simply this. If you were given a blessing, one of the best blessings you could have had was to know your grandmother. I said, know your grandmother. And those older ladies, they were something to behold and stories they could tell. But with that in mind, almost all of them, without exception, in their purse would have magnifying glasses. This old magnifying glass, they'd get it out to read small print, be it on their prescription bottles or any general reading literature. Because their eyesight wasn't that good, even with glasses. That amplified it and allowed them to be able to read better. Almost all of them carried this old kind of critter. Down the road, down the road, they started coming up with things like this. A shield that would protect the glass itself. And of course, it has a light in it too. It shows a, a good strong light along with amplification. A nice critter to have for anybody, you bet, as well as the older people. But some like something solid. That way they have hands free. And once you have two hands free, that uh, opens up a whole new door of things that you're able to do. Whether it's fine work, or whatever that might be, from putting a string through a hook, or perhaps doing some intricate sewing, or again, getting a sticker out of your hand. Something like this is worth its weight in gold. Very inexpensive as well. Something else you might want to consider, for just a few dollars, two at the most three dollars, you can buy a pair of glasses that are three power, but for short range. That means out to about two feet. The closer you get, about a foot is where it works best. Great for getting a sticker out and or getting hooks uh, through the line, different things like that, sewing, reading some very fine print, this is the kind of critter, hands-free by having something like this, and for a $2 bill, for a $2 bill, is that something that might interest you? Even if you got good vision, there's times when it's awfully hard to see something. These, for a few dollars, amplify and give you that ability. Give you that ability. Now, I'd finish it with this. This is my pair of glasses, and went into the old dock, and I said I need better glasses for driving, uh, law requires. And so he signed up and looked this up and got me all checked out. And he said, well, your glasses are going to be $900. And I said, whoa, 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 $900. And he said, yeah. And I said, well, what's that into? He said, well, it'll be uh, trifocals. And I said, I don't want anything but a driving glass. One type of driving, driving glass. I don't want multiple lines in there or anything like that because I, I just don't, I can read good enough as far as that goes. Up front here, I read reasonably good, so I don't need anything but a driving glass. And so he wrote it up that way to $200 for a pair of glasses. $200 for a pair of glasses compared to $900 that he was going to tack on. And I still have these abilities, and if it gets really finite, again, a $2 pair of glasses, and I can see more than even his high dollar ones would have done for me. This is McCook's Mr. Bill saying, think smart, buy smart, and always have the ability to see better than your old eyes can. And it's right here for a few dollars. Thank you for your time.